I mean, uh, politicians in the United States speak the way they do because they're liars. And they're trying to obscure the truth. And in so doing, trying to obscure, obscure themselves from any responsibility that the public might hold them to, which would cause the public not to elect them. But underlying all that is the notion that you get the politics that you deserve. And that when we get the politicians of the sort that we have in the United States, because we deserve them, because we make them that way, because we are hypocrites, because we are ourselves liars. And so we ask them to lie to us so that we will be happily lied to. So it's not, it's not the politician's fault alone. It's the fault, of, it's the fault of the polity out of which those politicians emerge. Uh, and I'm interested in that because a lot of it's funny. It's funny because it's so at variance from the truth. You know, when the truth is one thing and the utterance is another thing, then you have the basis for comedy of irony. And so for me, that's in, an interesting thing to show in a book. But I, but I don't show it um, in, in, in any way but a caustic way. And I do. I do write about politics. I mostly write about politics for uh, newspapers in Europe. In America, uh, people who do what I do, na namely write novels, are so basically uh, irrelevant and, and, and thought to be um, untutored in the ways of poli politics that nobody asks us to write anything. Nobody cares what we think about that. In a way, that's freeing, but in another way, it's dismaying because, in fact, we do know something about it.